Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we've got a new video, we're doing the review, another review build, um, as you probably saw in my recent live streams that I've done, my recent build is the Winnie the Pooh treehouse, or uh, 100 acre wood house, whatever you want to call it, um, it's the Lego Ideas set. Uh, set number 21326, 1,265 pieces. You know, first of all, obviously without looking at the set first, you know, you can tell the set looks really great on or brilliant on this. You know, the box art on this is really good. You know, you've got all the minifigures on the side there. And then you've got the inside showing what there is with Winnie the Pooh's bedroom and living room and things like that and showing it open up with all his friends you know what more can I say you know this is a if you're a Lego fan and obviously you're a fan of Winnie the Pooh then you know just by looking at the box brilliant as, as always but but yeah we've got the book here you know so like going through the book we've got the the map of the hundred acre wood you know, with all the individual bits like Eeyore's gloomy place and you got Rabbit's house with Piglet and you got Owl's house and various other bits. And then you got the beginning of an endless adventure where it start all start first started off in nineteen twenty six. Uh once upon uh, once upon a time about last Friday, and then you got Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh in the umbrella. And then Turn the page, got a bit of book or a bit about saying welcome to the hundred acre wood with Pooh and his friends, a little bit more, and of course they've got iconic uh picture there with Winnie the Pooh floating off with his balloon to get some honey or whatever it was that he was doing. And then we get a uh, get a bit with about with his friends and best pals. And then on this page is the bit of information of Ben Adler, who is the person that submitted the idea to Lego Ideas. So, yeah, I mean, they did make a few idea, uh, ju adjustments to it as well. I think there was an original plan of wanting to have Christopher Robin with this set as well. But, you know, due to production costs and mold costs or whatever you want to call it they couldn't do it so um they are on about possibly doing some more sort of minecraft type series where you can add on to the winnie the pooh sets and things like that got a picture of ben adler with his family a bit about the team that actually produced the set itself a bit of information and then we've got all the set stuff here so bags one to four builds the main base up with the beginning of the house and then bags five to six uh, five six and seven just finishes it off does the top of the roof and then does the flower section and then going through you got all your color coordinated uh, pictures there you know i prefer these type of books because you know it's a black background on the box, but with the other books that they've re released in the in the past, the books are black, and when you get light on them, it's, it's a bit difficult to to see where they come from. But white on this is really good, you know. So and then at the back here, we've got the contents of the parts that you need. And then obviously going a bit about sharing your ideas and then full picture of what it looks like when it's done. So, you know, this is really good idea. There's a total of 241 stages with 153 pages to actually build up completely. And then you've got on the back a picture of Pooh and Christopher Robin walking off to the sun there so minifigures this is the these are the minifigures that we have we've got iconic rabbit tigger tigger eeyore piglet and pooh bear 
you know, Pooh Bear with the Winnie the Pooh uh, with the balloon. Sorry, um, he comes off as one mould, uh, just one moulded head. He doesn't have a belly moulded, but it's printed to make as though he's got his belly. Piglet, he has shorter legs than Pooh Bear does, so it makes out that he's shorter. But it would have been better if he was a, a little bit smaller than that. Comes with a little scarf, as usual. Head is moulded. Eeyore, he's one moulded piece, and then we've got a bow there that you can just stick on. Tigger, um, he has a little rubber spring, a uh, rubber uh, tail, and moulded face as well and the same with rabbit as well unfortunately with rabbit they just printed the tail on which is a bit of a downfall you know they could if they managed to mold a tail for it, tigger then they could have done it for rabbit as well but yeah that's it um at the start we start off with the base and we also start with building this up the little sign saying 100 acre wood with the little classic uh, Pooh Bear honey pot. Um, we also have a little book here as well. Oh, make sure I got it the right way on this time. So we've got a little classic Pooh Bear book. Open it up, and then you've got Pooh Bear floating off. And then on that side, you can just about see, you've got. Ben A, which is a signature from the guy that actually created this set. Um, moving on to the main main bit that we've got here, you know this this set is just I have not, I don't know what to say about this. You know, I had fun building this on the stream. It took two parts on the live stream, two live streams to build this, and yeah, this this is just. What can I say? It's just amazing, you know, just looking at what they've got on this, what they've done, you know. Um, it all opens up at the back here and everything like that with the stickers and you've got like a little box here saying poo sticks. So I've got some little uh, sticks here that will obviously go into that section there, or into that little box. I took them out for the moment because they keep falling over when I move it. They've got uh, some more honey pots in other areas. Uh, we've got uh, his little living room with the bees above it as well. Um, if I remember rightly, the bees where they've done the little wisps from the net for the from the bees, it's the letters of the uh, of Ben Adler's girls' names. I think it is. So it's a nice little incentive on that we've got the little chimney stack going up through the top um we've then got Pooh bear's bedroom and then more little uh, more little honey pots whatever you want to call it but yeah this is this open and closes as always and then it just sort of clips together like that but yeah um now as you can probably tell I have wires in this as well so as you can probably imagine I got set sent the light set for this from Game of Bricks and you know not only does the set look good without the lights itself but you know if I get the battery pack and bring that round we've got the lights on and you know it just brings it out even more which this is the whole fascination about the lights because you know you can turn your light sets into something like this I wasn't expecting these to flash but you know it's it's really good I mean we've got like a little fire here so we can we can have hang on Give me a second. We can have Winnie the Pooh sitting on his log, you know, and, you know, having fun with his friends, sitting there with his friends. And then we've got other lights underneath here, around here as well. And then if I open it all up, you've actually got lights on the inside. So you can 
you've got the little candle lit up, you've got his bedroom lit up, and you've got the living room lit up. So, as I was saying, you know, you can just you can actually see it better now. You've got the E and the J for the girls' names. You know, but what starts off as a good, a great set to start off with, you know, you can make it into this. You know, this is this is such an awesome set. You know, so, but yeah, this is this is the Winnie the Pooh tree house, uh, hundred acre house, whatever you want to call it. Um, but what I'm going to do now is this video isn't over, but I will then. I'm going to leave the video here for the moment. I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to place this into the city, and or put it into the city where we've planned it to be, and then. Uh, we can come back and I can show you what I've actually managed to do with this but you know I'm lost for words for this great set I highly highly recommend this set but yeah um, I will go like I said I'll go upstairs place this into the set into the city and I'll come back to you so give me a second mate okay guys now we're back we've just placed the tree house the Winnie the Pooh set out and everything excuse the mess you know we've got a little bit of mess here but just going through some other parts for some other bits that I'm doing for other things so yeah mind the mess but yeah this is what I've done at the moment I mean we've got a couple what I've had to do is because underneath there's a extension board type thing where all the wires connect into each other underneath uh, it's stuck underneath that so what I've had to do is put some extra plates around the edge in as you can see and permanently fix that all the way round so as you can see you've got the wires there's the wire for the USB cable just there um, but yeah I mean this one's coming up slightly but if I just place that down it should be alright I mean I'm just getting I've just got some of the plates there like I said, I've got some of the uh, like one by one. I think these are one by one plates or two by four plates that I've got into that. I think that's two by four. I've got two by fours there. And I've got four by six plates and then the six, uh, the four by twelves. I think they are. And I've got the log falling off there for some reason. But yeah, I mean, this is you know I can't really fault this set. You know, if you're a big a big Winnie the Pooh fan. I'll sort that out in a minute. If you're a big Winnie the Pooh fan, then yeah, this is just a set for you to really grab. You know, I'm not really gonna say anything bad about this. You know, the only, I mean, I've, the only thing that I've had to obviously improvise with this is due to the length of the, the uh, USB cable, is actually having to make this like little hill section. It's a bit. It's just a start at the moment but i'm going to connect it up to the house and then it's just going to be sort of like it is with the the tree house as well so like i can just put my finger in and then turn it on like that so yeah i'm going to try and do something like that with this but i need to order some more plates because i'm out of the one by plates and yeah this is pretty much it and then as you can see if i just turn that, flick that on that's basically what we've got going on around here and then we've got the plate or the lights underneath there as well with the windows closed I need to somehow figure out how to get back inside and close that door there as well um, but yeah this is uh, this is an awesome set I can't I can't really go wrong with this so so yeah, this is pretty much it. The end of the video now. Um, if you guys like this video, then yeah, leave a like rating, comment down below, tell me what you think of this, tell me what you think of the light set as well. I'll leave a link down below in the description to both the light set and the uh, the the Winnie the Pooh set itself. Um, yeah. I, I'm speechless for what they've done you know I'm, I'm just glad I'm happy that they managed to bring out a Winnie the Pooh set so oh and the other thing as well I've done I put Winnie the Pooh and Piglet on on the little bridge here um, at the moment is a bit sort of cluttered but 
we've got them playing poo sticks in our little stream that we've got so to sort that lot out but but yeah until the next video i'll leave it here leave a like rating leave a comment down below let us know what you think if you're not subscribed then click the click the button below click the bell and you'll be notified when you get a new video or when i post a new video up and if you want to support the channel then yeah by all means i'll put the link to my patreon down below as well so you can uh help towards this what's going on with all this lot as well and until the next video i will catch you guys later bye bye